one, roll it. Hey, hon. Hey. Aren't you glad that you didn't give up on the men's ministry? Yeah. Why do you ask? I was just thinking about it. Remember the conversations we'd have when you were, you know, trying to figure out if you should do it? Yeah, but when I took this post as president, I didn't expect I would have to endure so much. Mm -hmm. I told you to make sure that you really wanted to do it because I knew that you'd have to go through a lot. And with that fire and brimstone heart of yours, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd have to extend a whole lot of grace. Yeah, I'm happy I trusted the Lord with it, though. Mm -hmm. You used to be so close at one point. <sighs> I just feel so bad for him. And Amber. Yeah, you know, I don't know what to say to him. You know, we just have these awkward highs and buys. Mm -hmm. But I really don't know what to say to somebody in this type of situation, you know? Pray about it. God will teach you how to do it. Mr. Men's president. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll pray about it. Thanks. Happy Easter. Honey, I'm home. Dinner almost ready? Yep, it's almost done, hon. Huh? Awesome. Hey, Abby, come here. So, how was school today? It was amazing. Did you know that the earth moves? It does. Yeah, Miss Brown says that it's spinning all the time, but we just can't see it because it's moving so slowly. Hmm. And did you know that we have 206 bones in our body? Really? And the water that Mom is bringing, it's only like hydrogen and oxygen. That's why they call it H2O. <laughs> well, it does sound like you learned a lot today. You know, I don't ever remember being this excited when I was in school. 
Give it some time. I was like that too. Now come help me with these plates. And um, for lunch, we had pizza. And you know I really don't like pizza. So I went to the lunch lady and told her that I really don't like pizza. She said, well, you never tasted pizza like mine. And oh my gosh, it was the best thing I've ever tasted. Except for your food, mom. <laughs> Sounds like you had a really good first day at the new school. Tell us about your day, hon. Well, when I saw how beautiful the day was, I just decided to go for a walk. And I somehow ended up at the park. And did you know, when I got there, I ran into the cutest little girl. She reminded me so much of... Hey Jim, happy Easter. I uh, haven't seen you in a while, so I was just in the area and I thought I would just stop by. Uh, yeah, come in, come in, come in. Great, thanks. Uh, so, um, can I offer you some tea? Uh, no thanks. Uh, maybe some water? Yeah, yeah, sure. But how have you been, Jim? Uh, I've been okay. Can't complain. Uh, what about you? Still heavily involved in the ministry? Well, you know it. I mean, I almost quit a little while back, though. Really? Yeah. I mean, church people, they were getting on my nerve. And then they made me the president of a man's ministry with no men. I mean, they had no fire for the Lord. They had no zeal. I mean, listen, I was just, I was just fed up. But it was at that point that I heard the Holy Spirit say that if it grieves you this much, how much more does it grieve him? And then like the good book says, this race is not for the swift, but to those who endure to the end. And so those guys who were coming to the ministry, I really started pouring into those guys. We started praying together. We started getting into the word. And now there's new life in the ministry. But I can brag all day on God. But this is about you, Jim. And I know you're going through a lot. So how you been? <laughs> really, I'm good. I'm just glad to hear that everything is going so well with the ministry. But um, when I was coming in, I heard a lot of yeah, talking. Yeah, I was on the phone. You were saying something like, honey. Did I hear you right? Yeah, yeah, I, I was on the phone with, the phone with her. With who? Amber? You guys still talk? Actually, we never really stopped. That's good. It's a good thing. Of course, you know, you fought our struggles for a bit. But, Jim, Jim, you were talking about how you and Amber were still talking? Sorry, sorry. Jim, is everything okay? I've just been having these massive headaches lately. I just need to get some medicine and I'll be all right. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll leave you to it then. Um, hopefully we'll see you on Good Friday. I heard the finance ministry has something really special planned for us. I, um, I'm, I'm not sure. I may be somewhere else. Well, you did say you and Amber were talking, and so um, I'm sure she is going to convince you, right? <laughs> yeah. Well,
Jeff. Happy Easter. Hey, Miss Sue. Happy Easter. I saw you in the park yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah. I was walking by, and I saw when that little girl run into you. And I saw how you was looking at her. What do you mean? She reminds you of Abby, eh? I don't know, but uh, I need to head inside now. Oh, I ain't gonna take up no more of your time then. You'll be blessed, and I'll see you on Good Friday. All right. Father, remove this cup from me, but let your will be done. All right, guards, come on. Where is he? I will, get, I will greet him with a kiss. All right, good job, guys. Get him. A little bit more forcefully. No, no Jesus. All right. One second, guys, okay? Good job with the no, we need more energy, okay? But excellent job, have a seat right here for me. I will be right back, okay? Hey, Amber, how are you? I've been doing okay. What about you? How's the family? Well, we are totally great. You know, we're just excited about Easter. You know, mm -hmm. Faith can't wait for those hot cross buns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. Was there something specific you wanted to talk about? Yeah, yeah, first of all, I just wanted to see how you were doing um, because the other day I went by Jim and he kind of suggested that you all were, you all were still talking. Okay, well, uh, your face says it all. I knew he was trying to hide something, but you know, I don't mean to get into your business, but... No, no, I, I mean, if anything, you can help me in praying for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, ever since that night, he's been a completely different person. What do you mean? Like he's living in his own world. One minute he seems to be functioning fine, and the minute you mention Abby. Jim, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. Give me that. No! Can't you go without drinking for one night? It's fine. It's just a little drink. <gasps> fine? How can it be fine? It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing is fine! You act like you don't, but you know what this did to our family! Jim! Jim! Are you even here? Nothing is fine! Abby is gone! You act like nothing happened and you're telling me it's fine? That was the last night that I could be there. I just couldn't see myself living in a house pretending that my daughter, he, he just isn't. 
here. I know when I was speaking to Jim the other night, um, I was asking him how he was handling it all. Yeah, it seemed like he was just blanking out, you know, and he started complaining about headaches, and it was like he wasn't, he wasn't there. You know. I tried to get him some help. Mm -hmm. They say this happens when someone experiences something traumatic. They say to give it time. All I could do is pray. Wow. Wow. Hmm. I can't I can't even imagine to you know, or even suggest to know what you guys are going through. Because you know, uh Faith and I, um, we can't have children. And that hurts. And, but I, I can't even fathom how it must feel to, uh, you know, to, to have a child and then to lose them. You know, but, but God heals. Scripture says that Christ came to set the captives free and to mend the brokenhearted. And I can see that scripture being fulfilled in you. I'm just praying for the day that I'll see that scripture fulfilled in Jim. Please do. Please do. Yeah, let me take you to your car. Let me get the door for you. Start opening. I would still be here if you would start opening. I would still be here if you would start opening. I would still be here if you would start opening. I would still Why do you have that in your hand? Abby, Abby, speak to me. Good to see you. Uh, hey, Dwight. <laughs> I guess you're getting these macros, huh? Must be getting the job done. Yeah, they do the job, I guess. Listen, uh, a couple of the guys are coming by me to watch the game. You should come. Uh, nah. Come on, Jim. The wife is doing pizza. She sent me to the store to get the Prego, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. All right, think about it at least. Come on, man, it'll be fun. For old times' sake, man. Sure, but um, I actually walked in. That's all right. I got you. Let's go. All right.
Jim. Jim. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? You froze for a second there. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's go. Hey Jim, I know you don't like to talk about Abby, but if you ever want to talk about her, you know I'm here. Are you okay, hon? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, really, I'm good. You sure? I I'm good. I'm good, hon. Really, I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. Okay. Hun, slow down. Job. Now they want my house. No doubt. No one less. That's all that the enemy used for this project. Jim! Daddy, slow down! Please! Please! Jim. Jim, we're not moving. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Anyhow, uh, we're here now. I just need a minute. I just need to take some medicine. All right. Luckily, no one's here. You know you mango when y'all get hungry. Well, you know that's right. But I got a little distracted at the store. Jim! <laughs> to me. I was dead. Help me. Dwight! Hey, man. Got you, man. Jim, what do you need help with? Can you apologize to the dead? What do you mean? Abby. Abby, is my little girl dead? Because of me? Did I kill her? Jim, worrying about Who's at fault? That's not gonna help. But it is my fault. And I see her everywhere. And she keeps saying that it's my fault. I keep, I keep going through life as though her and Amber are still here.
Jim, what do you want? I want my daughter back! It hurts. I just want to be able to apologize. If I, if I can just apologize. If I can just see my little girl to tell her that I'm sorry. Jim, while forgiveness from Abby is what you believe you need, have you ever thought to ask for forgiveness from God? Have you ever thought to ask for Amber's forgiveness? Because Amber, she's hurting just as much as you are. But day by day, I see that she has trusted God to help her get through this. But she didn't kill our daughter. But she feels guilty too. You see, Jim, that night, when it happened, she smelled the alcohol in your breath. But she didn't do anything about it. You see, Jim, she has asked for forgiveness. And she has been forgiven. And we can see a broken heart being mended day by day. So, you have to trust and believe that what God is doing in her, he can also do in you. You just have to ask for forgiveness. Have you asked for his forgiveness? Uh, I don't know. There's nothing to be afraid of. He's your father. Father. Father, forgive me. I killed my daughter. No. I killed your child. The child that you entrusted to me. To grow and to nurture in your ways. I allowed myself to be washed in a moment of anger and self-pity. I don't deserve forgiveness. But yet, your son, Jesus, you gave for this very moment for a sinner like me. I believe, Lord. I believe that Christ died for my sins. I believe that you are a healer. That you mend broken hearts. And that you require those who are broken to come before you. I know that you see my broken heart, Lord. You see my hurt. I want to trust in you, Lord. I know that I can trust in you, Lord, to remove this pain. Not only to remove my pain, but to allow a renewed person to come out of this. All in your honor and to glorify your name. Amen. 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 Okay. We will finish this pizza.
Sometimes, man. Every night we get together, we try to watch the game, and then we just start talking about the Bible and Jesus and His goodness, man. <laughs> well, I mean, it was great. I actually was long overdue for a night like this. So I actually think I'll come to Good Friday. Um, just because of the way that. Uh, uh, Danny. Yeah, because of the way Danny was speaking about it, it seems like something to be yours. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up, man. It would be good to have you. Come on, let's get you home. All right. <laughs> rendition, Maya. Yeah. Now we'll have our children fine arts ministry coming with a play entitled From the Throne to the Grave, All for Me. Forgive them. Into your hands, I command my soul. Bravo! Good job, guys! Awesome job. Wow. <laughs> <So good. laughs> good job. Yeah. I'll wait for you, Abby. Right here. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you till the day I die so I can apologize to you. What if I can't shave? What will you do? We'll wait. Oh, 
is my prayer that I just pick up my cross and follow you. Lord, please. Said with the words that he said, blasphemy to the Pharisees' ears. You the son of God, what you talking about? Man, don't bring around here. It's crazy though that who we came to save ignore his existence every day. Altering our minds to remember him, but still his goodness fades away. I don't deserve you, Lord. I don't deserve your grace. I can never understand you, Lord. I can never understand your ways. I never heard the story when the hero died for the villain. Lord, you got me in my feelings. You got me messed up, tears on my face Just to look at your cross, I didn't truly really know the meaning But God, I see it now I see the difference in your cross from the other two standing The only difference was the man that was on it Fully man, yet God incarnate Amazing, gracious, saving grace that saved my life From the place that was at it Slate wiped clean by the blood that was shed it I know this now, but in case I forget it Forget your pain, never will forget your name, never will forget the lamb that was slain. Lord, how could I forget you reign? Yeah, you said do this in remembrance of you, so tell me what does that mean? Cause you knew we would forget what you did, knew we would forget the broken chains. There is a fountain filled with blood from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose all their stains. Before I lived, you went out your way to save me from the price I made. The pain for the sins I commit against you someday Now tell me that ain't grace